Hey guys, so uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. Usually I like to explain my process in a particular artwork that I'm doing or do a tutorial. This one's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be explaining how this particular artwork did not meet expectations and what those expectations were and why I was very privileged to have them. <laughs> um... So essentially, I posted this artwork on Twitter, expecting it to do phenomenal. I was like, oh my god, I got everything right. I got it. It's like, it's sexy, it's cute, it's well made and rendered. I, I had all these things in my head I thought it had going for it. And then, it only got 1,100 likes. And I know what some of y'all are thinking. G is lost. I wish I had 1,100 likes. To which I say, I think that's the point of this video. I'm out of touch. Like, I expect my artworks to do really well and then get bummed out when they don't do as well as I was hoping. It seems that I'm so used to this current thing I have going on that I expect things to go well. And honestly, I think that's something worth talking about. Because most people if we're all being honest, would kill to have their artwork get 1,100 likes. And who am I to expect it to be more? Now, I may have worked hard on it, but that doesn't mean somebody else who only got 10 likes didn't work just as hard, if not harder, than I did. I think it's very easy for people who start to see success to become used to said success and expect it. But in reality, we aren't really owed anything, and I should feel, honestly, like I don't deserve it, and there are so many people, I have friends who are so talented, who aren't getting the same level of recognition, and I think it's important for me to really look in and be like, man, I've, I've got it pretty good. But despite having it good, I think it's important for everyone to know this weird little fact about me. I still live with my parents. That's right. Despite having a modest following on Twitter, I am not making a lot of money. I'm on disability. I have this weird autonomic issue where I go blind or I pass out every now and then, so I can't have consistent work hours. So... It's one of those weird situations where it's like, yeah, I may be doing good on Twitter, but, like, does it really matter at the end of the day? I don't know if this is, like, if this idea is offensive to some people. The the idea that, oh, you're doing well on Twitter, but you have, like, a pity party for yourself. And I guess it's just, I don't really see my success as success. Because I feel like what I've gotten out of it is just attention. And at the end of the day, I don't think attention pays the bills. I don't think attention really, really does much for you. I can get commissions every single day if I wanted to, but am I having fun with them? Am I really doing everything I could do? And I think that's why I've been enjoying YouTube recently. It feels like instead of just drawing and getting attention, I could share what I've learned and give people a piece of what brings me joy, and that's art. I may never live up to these expectations that keep moving for me. Every time I get, like, when I hit 10,000 followers, I'm like, this is as good as it gets. And then the next year, I doubled that. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to double it again. It's like, well, no. I guess at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is don't be complacent. Try not to get used to the success you get because it's never owed to you. At the end of the day, I'm just a guy who's working hard to becoming better as an artist and making the best art that I can. And I'm doing okay at it. And... I think what I just want to do now is I just want to share what I know. So I know I'm, I've been very rambly in this video. I know it's been kind of maybe droning to listen to, and I apologize for that. But I just wanted to share with you, at least briefly, 
what it feels like for me in a situation where I don't really maybe deserve what I have, but I'm proud. I think at the end of the day, I'm proud of how far I've come. I'm proud of what I've been able to create. And I think that I can keep going if I really, really try. And I will do my best to keep making tutorials, keep explaining processes and how my artwork is made just in a way to help you understand what I know and I'll grow and you'll grow and hopefully your artwork will become better than mine. Something will click for you and it'll just be there. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you for watching the video. Um, if you have any questions about this artwork in particular, I can make a second video explaining it and not do such a rambly, weird, nonsense video that this was. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!